I'm Ann Morrison. I am the artistic director and co-founder of Sarasota Productions. And during this difficult time where everybody has to be caged in their homes pretty much, uh, we had to cancel our solo festival for May, um, which I'm kind of sad about because we had some really wonderful artists coming down to Sarasota to do their solo work. But we thought, well, we'll create our own Sarasota TV here on YouTube. And um, we've had two things before. And I thought, well, you know, I, I haven't been able to do my cabaret show for a while. I have a series of them. And my most recent one was called um, My Furniture Set. It was a lot of fun to put together because there's a furniture store here in Sarasota, Florida, where I'm living, that was kind of the beginnings of Sarasota Productions anyway. They were a wonderful theater company. and it's, Well, we were the theater company, but we would go into this furniture store and create theater within it. And I always threatened them that one of these days I was going to actually create a, a show that was stimulated by the furniture in their furniture store. <laughs> and I did it. Good old John Shirley, who was my accompanist, thought it was a great idea. I went around the furniture store and I looked at things and I got ideas and went home and we found songs that would fit some of those furniture pieces and some didn't quite have so John Shirley and I actually wrote wrote some songs to put in the piece. Um, it was a lot of fun to do. We did it. We did go do it at the Home Resource Center in Sarasota. We've done a couple of furniture stores and we had the great pleasure of doing it at Feinstein's 54 Below in New York. It's been about a year though. So while we're all shut in, I said to John, I know you can't come down here because we're all caged in our houses, but would you be so kind to maybe put them on, uh, put them down, put the tracks down, and we'll just put one by one, one up, uh, once a week. So uh, stay tuned, you're gonna see my furniture set, but in my own house, based on furniture in my own house instead. So sit back and enjoy pieces of my furniture set. Okay, question. In your house, is this a coffee table? A cocktail table, or since it's sitting in front of the sofa, is it a sofa table? When I left college, I moved in with a girlfriend in this funny little flat outside of Chicago. Funky little fun furniture, and we had a coffee table in the morning time, but in the evening it was our cocktail table. And we had joined the Wine of the Month Club. We would buy a very expensive bottle of wine and a very cheap bottle of wine. And we would decide to drink the cheap bottle of wine and save the expensive bottle of wine for another time. So we'd finish the cheap bottle of wine, want more wine, open up the expensive bottle of wine, and not remember the experience. It took us 30 years to learn that lesson. We also had a Mr. Boston's cocktail mix book. Do you remember that? And we would line the table with all kinds of cocktails, you know, I mean, alcohol and all its mixers and what have you. And we would just experiment. And I'll tell you, I have never been so sick in all my life. Here we are sitting at our cocktail table with our cocktail glasses turned up right. So my friend, please allow me to enable. We're having a sophisticated night. First, let's begin with a bottle of gin, a dry vermouth, and an olive. Forget the vermouth if we want to stay thin, but we still got to stick with the olives or five. Five parts of this and a little wave of that. A little bit of this makes it dirty. A perfect martini would really make us fat. Let's make the first toast is now by thirty. Here we are leaning at our cocktail table, empty cocktail glasses in our hand. So my dear, just as soon as you are able, the next round will really beat the band. Canadian whiskey or bourbon or scotch, a sweet vermouth and a cherry. <gasps> Sorry, wasn't aiming for your crotch. That's not the vermouth, that's the sherry. Again, serve straight up, so just stir over ice. Wait, we forgot the dash of bitters. Something to eat now would really be nice. I think both my hands have got the jitters. Some goat cheese and some crackers is sort of our dinner for the night. Now for the next round, though, I must admit I'm kind of tight. Here we are at our table. Where's our cups of glasses out of sight? Oh, here. <laughs> Are you staying? 
according to that. <laughs> a white cream to miss. Really make it swinger. Swinger? I don't even know her. <laughs> it's the most. And I'm Good night.